Okay, in this video, let's talk briefly about some of the patch enhancements. Uh, we'll start with the this guy right here. I already created a little scenario here. So I'm going to hit, hold down Alt, select that border. It should get that open border there for you. And I'm just going to use my hotkey that I got set up to do a patch. And as you can see, right off the bat, uh, we got some new details. Whereas previously, this was in 1.1. This, these were dots, and now they're these little, these little. Uh, I don't know what do you want to call them. Whatever. It's just some indicators of what level of smoothness is going on here. So right now it's at G0, and if you you can cycle through it by hitting Tab, and it bumped it up to G1, and you can Tab again if you like goes to G2. The only thing is, I think uh, pretty much all of these were this whole a lot of a lot of what I do is uh, G1. I don't do G2 too often, and so it has a tendency to fail at that point, at least on this particular model. But if you did everything in G2, it might uh, patch it just fine. So I'm just going to cycle back to G1 and know that everything works. We can cycle to G2 and maybe. It could be this one here. Yep, that's what it was. That particular uh, bevel right there is probably a G1, so it doesn't want to blend uh, at that level, whereas down here it can easily smooth across at a G2. So that's basically that part there. Escape that. I'll pull up this little uh, quick thing here that I put together. Uh, cool thing with... Um, patch now as long as you have overlapping curves and if I uh, hit 5 you can see all the points and if you notice we got a lot of overlapping points due to this uh, green or turquoise uh, dot so we know that they all overlap so but the cool thing about this is I could take this one this one this one and say like that one and if I do my patch command, you can see it trims off all the excess and generates a patch in that center area. So kind of cool. So do that. We'll do one more here just for grins and giggles, just to show you how it works. Pretty cool, right? So when I initially did this, everything was perfectly at that um, at those intersections. Nothing was extended off or anything like that. And I was having difficulty to get this process to work. So what I ended up do, doing is extending the curves out just a little bit with the extend curve command. And that's how I was able to get it to work. So it's just a quick tip for you if you're running into problems of it not just patching right off the bat with all these overlapping curves. So as long as they extend out a little bit, uh, plasticity will be able to figure it out that it's at the intersections that it needs to trim it. So, But that is basically it for uh, a few of the patch enhancements on 1.2.